Good morning boys and girls, or actually evening probably when you're watching this. Welcome to tonight's foot video. We'll be reviewing all of our mass measurements tonight. Um, both grams, kilograms, and ounces, pounds, and tons. So as a reminder at the top, I wrote um, the conversion. So 16 ounces is 1 pound, and 2,000 pounds is 1 ton. So if I've got 4 pounds, and I want to turn that into ounces, what I need to do is I need to do 16 times 4. You could also do this lattice box if you wanted. So 64 ounces because in 1 pound is 16 ounces, in 2 pounds is another 16, and 3 pounds is another 16, and 4 pounds is another 16. So I could add those all up, but it's actually just faster to multiply. Now I've got 8,000 pounds and I want to turn that into tons, which that would be you know a couple of gorillas or something. Um, I need to do the reverse. I would need to divide. However, dividing 8,000 by 2,000 sounds scary, but it's really, you know, they have the same amount of zeros, so you can kind of forget about those. 8 divided by 2 would be 4 tons. So pretty straightforward there. Now it's your turn to try. Took, I've taken away the conversion, so hopefully you wrote them down on your paper. But you've got 16 pounds. How many ounces is that? And you've got 3 tons. How many pounds is that? Take a moment to solve that, and then unpause your video. All right, if you got 16 pounds, I'll do 16. I'll do this lattice box just as a nice review of lattice box. 16 times 16, because there's 16 ounces in a pound. I've got 0, 1, 0, 6, 36, and 0, 6. Adding that up, that 6 plus 3 is 9, plus another 6 is... 15 carry so 256 ounces and 16 pounds now three tons time um, I know that there's 2,000 tons or 2,000 pound in a ton so 2,000 times three zero 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 and then six I could have saved myself some times and just done three times two and then added three zeros but sometimes I like to work it out so that would be 6,000 pounds. Pretty straightforward. Now the other one is when we've got our grams and kilograms. We know that from grams to kilograms there are 1,000. And our way to remember that is with our paper clip, which is so expertly drawn, and our cookbook. The cookbook, remember, always has to be on the left. And we call it the cookbook because that's three syllables, the cookbook. And we call it paper clip, so that's three syllables. Just like with make, call, milli, this helps us remember which way to move, but we know that it's always going to be in uh, moving the decimal point three times. So in our first example, we've got 16 grams, or you know about 16 paper clips, and I need to move it to kilograms. So I'm going to make that my red example. So I'm moving from grams to kilograms, so I move to the left, and I know I always have to move it three times. So a decimal point always starts off the last whole number, and if there's no decimal point there, one, two, three, decimal point goes there, I need to fill in my circle there. So it would be 0 0.016 kilograms, so actually less than a kilogram. Now in my, let's make a blue example. In my blue example, I've got kilograms, I'm going to grams. So I start here, going the opposite way this time. So in this example, I already have a decimal point there, so I don't have to make a decimal point like after I have been doing. So I go one, two, three. So I have two circle, two spaces to fill in, 3,700. Pretty straightforward. The different, big difference there was I already had a decimal point, so I didn't have to add another decimal point after my seven in my last whole number place value. So now it's your turn. I've left the space here because I need a work, room to work and I also am missing something that will help me out. So there's your things. Pause your video, try to solve it, unpause it, we'll work through it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'll draw myself a cookbook. The cookbook. And I'll draw myself a paper clip. Remember, cookbook always being on the left. So I'm at kilogram. And I want to go to gram. So I start here. I know I'm going to the left, or to the right, 
decimal points already there. So one, two, three. Fill those in, and it's four thousand seven hundred. I think the last one was like three hundred seven thousand, or three thousand seven hundred. Funny how that stuff works out. Now in my brown example, I'm at my gram, going to my kilogram. So I'm at my gram, my cookbook, moving to the cookbook, and I know it's always three times. Don't have a decimal point here, so I need to add one after my last whole number. One, two, three. Decimal point there. Fill in the gap. So it's zero point zero three two. So check yourself. How do you how do you stack up against the correct answers? Hopefully, well, now you can always review. Which brings us to our bring back to school problem. So we got four problems here for four conversions. The top two are um, grams and kilograms. The bottom two are ounces, pounds, and tons. So solve all four of those, bring them back to school, and I'll see you in the morning.